and how to lose stubborn belly fat and <laughs> To be completely honest, I just forgot to film the recipe, but whoops, it did easy. Um, this is how the sandwiches look like, they are still hot, so I can't wait to eat them. But because I forgot, I will just include the recipe here. The ingredients it's super simple, super quick, of course, because it's sandwiches, but it tastes amazing, and I can't wait to eat them with this hot tea. Cheers. So as you can see, there's a lot of snow everywhere and right now I will be driving to the shop to finally do some grocery shopping to get some things that I will show you in the shop probably. Um, yeah, so let's, let's go shopping guys. As I said, the weather here is getting colder and colder. So I'm wearing actually three jackets right now and two pants. There's two pants here because I'm getting, I'm not used to it because I was for such a long time in, in Vegas, then in Houston, then prior to that I was still in Vegas, I was even in Dubai. So I probably avoided completely any kind of cold for such a long time. I think it's, it's almost a year. So it's not even that cold here considering how cold it usually is and I'm dying already. So I really hope that I will climatize to it and just get used to it. If not, I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but fingers crossed, um, I'll survive. Yeah, and this beanie, Buff Bunny beanie, definitely keeps me warm. So at least some positive here as well. So I just got back home from shopping, grocery shopping. I bought some stuff and of course I prepared some carrots with duck breast meat and um, plums, which is already roasting in the oven. I'm excited for that. I usually don't eat a lot of duck meat because it's super expensive, but I love my morning breakfast sandwiches. That And I use a little bit of duck breast meat, just a little bit, just for the taste. So I'm really frugal on that. And yeah, so now I will be probably working a little bit more with client check-ins. But first I will be making my second meal of the day, which will be carp fish steaks with buckwheat, um, also avocado, some lettuce and barbecue sauce. And oh, and also some tomatoes. I will include a picture here because I probably won't be filming it. Um, yeah, so I will be pretty much taking the rest of the day for my work and maybe some cleaning because I need to do that and I was avoiding it for such a long time. And then, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. A lot of cleaning, working, eating and just staying at home, resting my leg. Because as I said, I still need to be careful with it. It isn't, at, it, it isn't healed at all, of course. Um, but yeah, it, things are getting better and I'm super excited for it, so there's that. Also, if you want your lashes to look longer, try using not only mascara, but also the base, uh, mascara base. It definitely makes a big difference because my lashes, of course, I grew my lashes quite a bit, but they look so much better when I wear not only mascara, but also um, primer, so it looks 
quite good, I would say. Thought I will show you which one I actually use right now. So this one is from Maybelline. Isn't that expensive either, but so, so, so good. Um, it's Sensational Sky High. I tried this mascara as well, but honestly, it does pretty similar job like the primer they are pretty similar so i like using primer with my second favorite mascara which i bought in america when i was there in vegas this is i believe it's i don't know which which what is the brand for it but i absolutely love it i have the same brand foundation here which looks like this i absolutely love it this one is in a shade Oh my gosh. Where is the shade? I don't know. So, whatever. But I love this one. Um, if you are interested, just, just comment below and I will share share some of it. But of course, I understand my channel is pretty much about fitness. So, if you aren't into makeup, I totally get it. But I love it. So, Okay, so I know I said I won't film myself cooking. But it is salad that I prepared. It is avocado, barbecue sauce lettuce also tomatoes some spices salt and all that fish is cooking there it's almost done and buckwheat is boiling there so soon i'll be it turns out that i got a package and i honestly wasn't expecting it to be raw nutrition but it came super fast and actually I didn't even need it to pay any customs for it. So if they will continue to ship to Lithuania with zero custom fees, that will be even more amazing. So I'm excited to open it up and to see what, actually I know what it is, but I'm excited to show you. I absolutely love raw supplements. I order pre-workouts, EAAs, some sleep stuff, which is amazing. You'll see everything, I just need to quickly eat my protein bar and then yeah i'll show you everything okay, so we got my two favorite pre-workout things of course pump this time strawberry lemonade flavor and also pre-workout green crush um, flavor also i got my favorite sleep formula this one is really good i sleep like a baby on it and of course hydration for to keep myself just hydrated electrolytes and all and of course two hoodies in size i believe l and m these will be large but i love oversized stuff when i train for the workout and my little voiceover so first exercise of this workout of course was co crossovers i really really like this version just because i can isolate my rear delts so much better it definitely feels way nicer than a standing one so if you haven't tried this one i will definitely recommend it also don't mind me wearing this puffer because it was super cold in the gym and I just wanted to keep myself warm even though i was training i still was pretty cold so just just bear, bear with me um another exercise i did of course was a shoulder press and i actually used a wrist wraps i sometimes use them on my heavier sets because they really help to push a little bit harder also can help you prevent yourself from injuries especially with heavier exercises or after you are recovering from, from kind of injury as well so yeah i i love those i actually use hard body stuff i also have their belt and i'm actually sponsored by them so i really really like their quality and everything like that so if you will decide to buy anything um definitely use my code laura because it will save you some money and of course it will help me to stay with the brand and just in general it supports me so i really, really appreciate it also as you can see i was doing here lateral races with cables that variation actually is amazing i absolutely love it 
doing them unilateral while I lean forward a little bit and not forward but on the side. Um, another super set that I absolutely love lately is actually seated lateral raises with dumbbells. Um, try not to swing too much of your weight because it definitely takes away from your shoulders so be smart with that and yeah the second exercise of the superset is overhead press and i just started doing it recently and i absolutely love it but also if you if you haven't if you don't have a good shoulder mobility be really careful with this one and try not to lower the weight too low try lighter get a feel of the exercise and then you can start increasing the weight of course yeah so here i was making a mess with this plate that i just dropped and didn't even notice um probably because i was so focused on the workout so maybe it's a good thing i don't know but yeah so i was just doing a superset again with rear fa with face pulls and pull overs and also another exercise for the back was another superset actually i did um, I don't think if I, that I filmed it, but I did regular um, lat pull down, um, and this was a superset with feet with another lat pull down where you are holding your arms a little bit closer to each other and palms are facing. And yeah, this is lat pull down the regular way. I was pushing myself. You can definitely see it from my face, but. Trust me guys, after that one, your lats, your back will be crying. And of course, I finished with some rows with cable. This one was always one of my favorite exercises for the back. So definitely continue doing it and absolutely loving it. Workout is done and right now I'm trying to get to my house. Um, I'm trying I say I'm trying because there's so much snow here and it's quite difficult to walk It isn't warm at all, especially standing with these thin leggings outside, but Right now I will be just going home working a little bit more um, filming Something interesting to you guys editing of course eating and yeah, so This is my little update guys so it's time for us to talk i thought that i definitely need to bring more tips into my channel just to help you out because i get quite a good amount of questions on my instagram and one question that is still going and women especially are interested in how to lose stubborn belly fat and reality is that you can spot reduce and by now many of us knows it so you just gotta stick with your diet, be patient, um, diet long enough, stay in a calorie deficit, and eventually fat will, will be starting coming off from your belly. Because some people, of course, can lose weight pretty equally. Um, they lose body fat pretty equally from their bodies. But of course, some people have stubborn areas that is harder to lose weight. So usually belly fat is the last to come off from a lot of us and as I said it just needs more time or more consistency because you will be losing body fat from other areas and when body fat will be um, gone from those it will start you will start losing fat from your belly but however don't be sad about it because there are things that you can actually do to make your waistline look smaller make yourself feel better and i'll share some of them right now and what really helped me and of course a lot of my clients as well and it is actually fixing your gut and having your gut healthy because if you can't if you if you have unhealthy gut you can't absorb food well you can digest well um you just feel pretty shitty in general you feel bloated or things like that so fixing your gut is super important and there's things of course how you can go about it so you definitely need to make sure that you are eating whole foods that agrees with your body and of course you are including vegetables you are not afraid of fruits um, different color vegetables different color fruits because variety is super important 
and of course you should avoid foods that you are intolerant to or you are allergic to and how to determine that you can definitely um you if you are intolerant to certain food you can feel sluggish after eating you can feel bloated you can have um, stomach distress discomfort um, any kind of pain cramps and stuff like that it's it's an in indication that you can't tolerate that food at least for now so try to avoid those foods and just stick with foods that you that your body loves and you feel good on you feel light you feel energetic you don't have any bathroom issues so that's super super important of course digestive enzymes can help um, as well but yeah just just fix your gut because it's super important for you not only in your fitness journey not only with your fitness goals to lose weight or gain muscle but it's also important for your mental health as well because if your gut health isn't there you won't be healthy mentally you won't be thinking straight or have sharp mind so definitely fix that and yeah, this is pretty much my tip for this vlog. Um, fixing your gut will definitely help you to have a smaller waistline. But of course, it losing stubborn belly fat, it just, it, it takes time and it, yeah, you just need to be patient with it. So this is my tip. And right now, as I said, I will be going to do some work, some breakfast, and then just doing regular work at home today. I realized that I promised you to share my update with my training, with my calories and everything like that right now during this injury. So before getting injured, I was eating high calories. I was eating 25 to 26 calories per day. I also was walking more than right now and I was doing a little bit of cardio here and there, like 10 to 15 minutes. But right now, I'm actually not doing any cardio at all because I'm saving my leg as much as, much as possible. Um, I walk way less. I, I walk, I don't know, like 10 to 12K, 1,000 steps per day right now. And I used to walk up to 20K, 15K and stuff like that. So I'm really, really being careful with it. And of course, just, just lowering my intensity and everything and just giving my body more time to reset, to recover. Um, I'm training way less. I used to do six workouts a week, sometimes even seven workouts a week. And right now I do a different thing when I train two days on, one day off, sometimes three days on, one day off, and just keep switching that. So I pretty much train my upper body right now, of course, way more than my legs because I can't train my legs. I do only glutes and it, I just recently started doing more glutes, so I'm just doing bed at work, um, isolated work with machines, um, barbell hip thrusts and stuff like that, but no lunges at all, no um, single leg movements pretty much, unless it's bands or light kickbacks. Um, what else? Um, heavy squatting is a no-no, even squatting is a no-no, unless I do it lightly in a um reverse hack squat or with a dumbbell underneath so there's that my calories are now is at 2100 but i will be increasing them again up to 25 um i'll see how my body responds because i still won't be doing cardio i won't be walking as much but i think my body needs it i still can gain more weight and this way help with my injury with my recovery with my muscle muscle building and my off season so now, of course, the goal is to remove any um, unnecessary cardio, any unnecessary movement and, ju and just focus on recovery, on weightlifting and increasing my calories, which, de which you will definitely see. Also, if you want to see my full day of eating vlog, definitely let me know in the comments below. I read every single comment because that means a lot. I just recently started to be more active on my YouTube channel and your support will help me a lot. I will be sharing more videos. The goal, of course, is at least two videos a week. If things will be going great and you will love those videos, I will be trying to do three, but let's just see how it goes. And yeah, I'm super excited and can wait to share this journey. It's difficult. It's, it's not the easiest thing mentally for me, but I'm just trying my best to stay positive, work with what I can do and train with what I can do and basically just just improve as much as I can 
um, in reality, of course, a positive thing, of course, is that my glutes and my lower body was pretty well developed and I needed to really work on my shoulders. So right now I can focus more on my shoulders. My lats are actually in a pretty good spot. So I don't do a lot of form up back. I pretty much train my upper body, mainly shoulders and a little bit of back just to keep um, the muscle there, of course. And yeah, glutes here and there, legs right now is a no-no. Abs, I do, I don't know, five times a week, four times a week, but just very lightly with body weight. I don't do anything crazy for it because I still want to keep my waistline tight and small and I don't need to grow my abs or anything like that. Maybe a little bit more detail. So some body weight work will definitely help with that. Uh, I actually start doing vacuums but mainly because of my laziness but maybe i will be doing them more but for now i think my waist is in a good spot and i have a pretty good stomach control anyways so i don't see a lot of um a lot of things why i should be doing vacuums of course it's good for breathing and a lot of yeah a lot of other stuff so yeah that's pretty much my laziness to be honest